Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald said he is undecided if he will retire or play in 2019, which would be his 16th season in the NFL. File photo, December 30, 2018, Seattle, Washington, USA, Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald, 11, returns to the locker room following a 27-24 loss against the Seattle Seahawks at CenturyLink Field. Mandatory credit, Joe Nicholson USA Today Sports Shea told ESPN's Adam Schefter he intends to take some time to mold the decision. Fitzgerald committed to playing the 2018 season last February, but it turned out to be a tough year in Arizona. The Cardinals finished the season with an NFL worst 3-13 record, and head coach Steve Wilkes was fired. New head coach Cliff Kingsbury said last week he hopes Fitzgerald will return. In 2018, the 35-year-old appeared in all 16 games and caught 69 passes for 734 yards and 6 touchdowns. The Cleveland Browns officially named Freddie Kitchens as the team's new head coach on Saturday. Kitchens, 44, becomes the 17th full-time head coach in franchise history. He replaces Hugh Jackson, who was fired in October after compiling a 3-3-6-1 record in two-plus seasons. After parting ways with Jackson and offensive coordinator Todd Haley in October, the Browns promoted Kitchens from running backs coach to offensive coordinator and named defensive coordinator Greg Williams as interim head coach. Williams has been relieved of his duties and is no longer with a team. Dallas Cowboys head coach Jason Garrett, whose job security was in question when the team was 3-5 at midseason, now is expected to receive a long-term contract extension, according to NFL Network's Ian Rapoport. Garrett's current contract runs through 2019, but his work leading the Cowboys to a 10-6 finish apparently has owner Jerry Jones ready to commit to him beyond then. Garrett is in his ninth season and is 77-59 since taking over in Dallas midway through the 2010 season. Jones gave Garrett a vote of confidence amid the team's mid-season struggles and teased a potential extension earlier this week during an interview on 105.3 The Fan. Cowboys wide receiver Cole Beasley and tight end Blake Jarwin were both active for the team's divisional playoff game at the Los Angeles Rams. Both players missed practice all week due to ankle injuries, but both were expected to give it a go during pre-game warm-ups, and both received the go-ahead to play. Beasley aggravated his ankle issue last week but played through it as the Cowboys beat the Seattle Seahawks. Defensive tackle Malia Collins and guard Xavier Suafilo, who were also questionable with ankle injuries, were also active. Safety Darian Thompson, groin, was inactive for Dallas after being listed as questionable, and the Rams were fully healthy. The Denver Broncos are expected to be one of several teams interested in trading for Pittsburgh Steelers wideout Antonio Brown this offseason, NFL Network's Ian Rapoport reports. The report adds that there have been no moves toward reconciliation with the team on Brown's part, and the Steelers may actively seek a trade rather than merely listening to offers. New Tampa Bay Buccaneers head coach Bruce Arians is making a concerted effort to keep wide receiver Deshaun Jackson on the team, NFL Network reports. Per the report, Arians intends to re-recruit Jackson and convince him he can be a big part of the offense, after the wideout reportedly soured on his fit with the Bucs in 2018. ESPN reported before the season finale that Jackson told the team he wants out of his contract so he can play elsewhere in 2019. Jackson, 32, remains under contract for $10 million in 2019, the last year of his deal, but he has no guaranteed money remaining. The Jacksonville Jaguars are interested in Denver Broncos coach, personnel man Gary Kubiak for their offensive coordinator vacancy, according to an ESPN report. Kubiak, who is currently under contract in Denver's personnel department, was expected to become the Broncos' offensive coordinator under new head coach Vic Fangio, but those plans changed due to philosophical differences. Kansas City Chiefs safety Eric Berry, Hill, and running back Spencer Ware, Hamstring, were both inactive for the team's AFC Divisional Playoff game against the visiting Indianapolis Colts.
However, Chiefs wideout Sammy Watkins' foot was active for the first time since Week 11. For all the grief Chicago Bears kicker Cody Parkey received for missing what would have been a winning 43-yard field goal in the playoffs last week, many others in the Windy City might express some sympathy after knowing what it feels like. Among the 101 contestants who tried the kick from the same yardage in tough, wintry conditions in Chicago, not one put it through the uprights in what was called the Cody Parkey Challenge. Field Level Media